Howdy doody, good people of Hopkins. I'm in Jane Kleiman's Moodle course and I want to show you some maintenance um, ideas or techniques for when you start a new year or term or semester. I'm hanging out in Jane's course page and um, if I collapse by clicking on this triangle right here, if I collapse some of these sections so that the navigation block is not so large, you'll notice that there in settings, there is a section here called users. If I click on it, and then if I click on enrolled users, you're going to see just momentarily that Jane has a lot of students, former students, that are enrolled members of this class. And now the reason why they, we would enroll members in the class or they would self-enroll is so that they have this course um, listed under the My Courses section for them when they log into Moodle and also because then they can submit assignments digitally or they can interact with quizzes or surveys or that sort of discussion forums, that sort of thing in Moodle. But um, this builds up over time so it's really great to get rid of the old students before your new students enroll, whether you do that manu or whether they do that manually or you do that on their behalf. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If I scroll down to settings, you have a button here called reset. I'm going to click on that. Uh, Moodle is a little sluggish today, although that was pretty fast there. And if you want to, you can enroll a start date. That would be the beginning of school or the um, the uh, beginning of a term. I'll go ahead and, and do that. Um, I don't actually know the first day of school, so I'm just going to get in the near the ballpark of it. And what you may want to do is just go through and decide what data from the course you want to delete. And so if you used the calendar, you may want to get rid of the events. Um, any logs, so you like that's user reports, what people um, clicked on in the past, that would be a good thing to wash out. I don't use notes, and so I'm just going to delete it just for the heck of it. And comments I don't generally use, but that can go. Course completion data, that's new to Moodle 2.0, don't know what that means. And generally I don't use blogs. I'll get rid of anything that I don't use um, a lot. So then, um, you do not want to get rid of teachers, but you do want to get rid of all the students. That will start you fresh. And um, I would not check these two things. Actually, at this moment, I don't know what they mean. Um, we don't use the gradebook because we in the district use Infinite Campus for our gradebook. So there, you probably don't have anything in the gradebook. So you can um, delete that if you want, um, but there's probably nothing to delete. It's possible that you use groups. I know that Jane does not, um, but that uh, groups are used more often when you have two teachers using the same exact page and you just want to um, divide students up based on their which teacher previews the work of which group of students. All right, I'm going to get rid of assignment uh, submissions. That's pretty important for Jane. She has some kids um, do some things digitally. You just go down and you know you're just going to put check marks in whatever you can unless you think of something that you really want to keep for um, report data in the future. But really most of the stuff can be checked. And then you click on the reset course and um, depending on how much traffic there is on Moodle or depending upon how many students that you are actually deleting this may take a second. So we'll wait. Okay, we're back at it here. I can actually splice that wait time right out so you don't even know how long I waited. This is just a little page that tells you exactly what was deleted. You scroll to the bottom, click continue. And then we are back at her home page. And the beauty of this is if you go down to users and click on enrolled users, you are only going to see uh, the teachers that were in here. So that's great. You're ready. She's ready to start fresh for the new term.